In this video series, we're going to talk about how to stop spam completely from getting into your email. Now to do that, we're going to talk about a couple of free methods that are quite effective, and then we'll talk about an inexpensive paid method that is 100% effective. So let's start first with the free methods. Well, the first thing we're going to talk about is using Google to retrieve our email. This is a great way to control spam as Gmail has some really advanced spam controls and they can eliminate most of your spam. Okay, so all you have to do is go up here to google.com and then you'll see Gmail. Click on that. If you're not already using Gmail, you can create an account here. Otherwise, you can sign in. So let's create a new account. This is just like creating a Google account. So you just go here, you put in your first last name, your username you're going to use, and it'll be at gmail.com. A password. Put in the other information requires down here, and use the CAPTCHA code. Agree to their terms, and go to next step. Okay, now as you're going and creating your account, when you put the email address in here you want to use, it will tell you if somebody's already used it. It'll also give you suggestions down here if you want to use one of those. So you might have to do some messing around here to find an email address that's available. Okay, so we'll just change this just to show you that if you pick a username that isn't taken, then you're fine. You can go on from there. Okay, so we'll just continue here and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, from here, you can add a photo in if you want, and then click Next Step, and continue to Gmail. All right, at this point, you have a Gmail account set up. You have some introductory mails here. Okay, now, the reason I suggest Gmail is because it can retrieve email from your other accounts that you have and it will filter the spam out of those other accounts so what ends up in your Gmail box is pretty close to being free of spam it may not get all of it but it's going to get most of it a great deal of it over 90 percent okay so what you want to do is you want to set up Gmail to retrieve your email accounts so what we do is we go over to where this is here where it says settings click on that and then go to settings in here and this brings up the Gmail settings now there's a number of things you can do in Gmail that I'm not going to particularly go over here there are a lot of things but what we're interested in is accounts and import and then you can set up any accounts you have to import into here your pop three accounts and it will filter out all your spam okay so what we can do is add an, e an email address okay and then you put your email address down here now treat as an alias what this does is if you treat it as an alias it populates the outgoing email with your Gmail information so if you unclick that, it will put this information in your send mail. It will also make sure that your emails show up as unread in your inbox. Okay, we'll go to next step. Now, here you can either send through Gmail or you can send through the SMTP server of, of your particular email server. Now the easiest thing to do is to use Gmail's service then you don't have to bother setting anything else up so i always use this i'll click next step okay now you have to verify that you own this email address before you can do this with gmail so click send verification and you will get a link sent to your email address that you can click on or you can enter the verification code in here 
Okay, so I'll just paste my code in here. Click verify. Okay, and at this point, we now are retrieving our email from Gmail. Now the other thing you might want to set is reply, reply from the same address the message was sent to. I would click that. Now, you, to use a POP3 email account, this would be like one on your domain. Okay, so you put in your email address in here. Okay, so let's go to cPanel and set up an email account and then we'll retrieve it through Gmail. So we'll just go to email accounts. Okay, and we'll set up the account here. So we'll call it, we'll just call it me, and then it's going to be at, and then the domain name here. Put in a password. You can create a strong password using the password generator here, or you can put one in on your own. Okay, you can set the size in megabytes of your mailbox here, or you can set it to unlimited, and then click Create Account, and it'll create an account for you. Okay, and there it is. All right, so let's go back to Gmail now. Okay, and then this is your sign-in information for the email account that we just set up. Okay, and then the server here and the port. Now, your cPanel may have instructions on how to do that. So let's go back. Okay, and you'll see over here it says More. And when you click on that, you can click Configure Email Client. Okay, and then you can either use IMAP or POP3. So let's go to, well, we're actually going to do manual settings. Okay, so this is the mail server username. Go back here. Should actually put that on there. Okay, here we have mail dot the domain name and port 110. So let's go back and look for the port. So the port needs to be 25 for outgoing and incoming is not specified. So that's going to be the default. Okay, so let's go back. Now you can leave a copy of the retrieve mail on the, the original server if you want. I always use a secure connection, secure socket layer when retrieving mail. Okay, and that was one of the settings on the server side. If we go back here, see if we want to use SSL or secure socket layer, the incoming server is this right here. Okay, so if we're going to force SSL, then we have to use that mail server. Okay, label the incoming messages so they'll be separate. And archive incoming messages would mean it skips the inbox and goes to the folder that will be created down the side here and won't go into your inbox. Okay, let's add the account. Okay, and if you want to be able to send mail, click next step here. Okay, let's undo this treat as an alias again. Click next step. And again, we're going to send through Gmail. Click Next Step. Send Verification. Okay, and it's going to send the verification code. Okay, so over here you can access Webmail and get it there. Okay, and here is our confirmation email. Okay, so we can click on the link or we can copy this in right here. Let's go copy that into the verification section and verify. Okay, now you see that we have, we can make it the default email here. 
can edit the info on it and we can delete these as we like. Okay, now if you come down here, you can check your email account. So we get check email now and it should bring in any emails that it fetches. Okay, so here we are at our inbox and you'll see here it says me at the best info and there's our Gmail confirmation that was just sent. Okay, so now we are using Gmail to grab all of our mail for us. Okay, and then you can, anything time you find spam, you can check it and then you can go up here and you can spam it and this will help keep the spam under control in Gmail. Okay, now you see here that we have a label for this mail now. So when we click on that label, we can see the email that was sent to that label. Okay, and then when, when we get some other email from the other address, we'll also get a label down here. So that's how you can keep your email organized. Okay, so that's how you can use Gmail to control your spam. Okay, another free method you can use to eliminate spam is to use Box Trapper. Box Trapper is pre-installed on cPanel. So all you got to do is, click, of course, click on Box Trapper and go in here. Okay, and then there will be a list of email accounts in here. And all you got to do is go to the one you want to manage. So click Manage on our email here. Okay, and you'll see right here that our current status is disabled. Okay, so this is where you enable Box Trapper for this account. Okay, here we can configure the settings. So we can put our name in here. A number of days to keep logs and messages in the queue. Okay, so after 15 days they're going to disappear. So you need to keep an eye on the box trapper queue and that's the disadvantage of doing it this way instead of using Gmail because Gmail it's very easy to get to where your spam is with this you're gonna to have to sign into your cPanel every once in a while and go and have a look at the queue okay enable automatic whitelisting that means that if you reply to somebody it's going to automatically add them to your whitelist and auto whitelist to and from lines from whitelisted senders Okay, wait, is this by association? I forgot this one. Minimum spam assassin score required to bypass box trapper. So you can leave this alone. Spam has a score, and this is the score that it's using by default. Okay, and then you save and go back. And we'll go back again. Okay, you have confirmation messages. So you can go in here and we have different types of messages the verification return the verification the blacklist and the verify released so if you want to edit them you can do that here otherwise reset to default so if we go into edit it shows you what's already in here and if you want to edit it you can i just I'm going to leave it at the defaults here you can edit your white and black list and the ignore list okay so you can go in here and edit so you can add things in here and so on okay so you can edit your list like that okay here you can forward your emails to another email address once they're past box trapper you can review your log so this is not all that message is sent to your account displayed by day okay so there's going to be nothing in here right now of course but here's the dates up top here Let's go back and review queue. Okay, this is the email that's waiting for verification. So if somebody hasn't clicked the, the link in the email, then it's unverified. And most spammers, they just send fake email addresses, so they're never going to get the verification, and that's why this works. Okay, so all you have to do is enable it, and then it's enabled for this account. Okay, so that's how you can use Box Trapper to eliminate most of your spam. In the next video, I'm going to show you a paid method that I use that works really well.